Hi, um, my name is James Heron. I'm a senior BIM consultant with uh, Pentagon Solutions and I'm also a qualified architect. Um, today's video, I'm going to demonstrate three features with Navisworks. First thing we're going to show is using Navisworks with non Revit files. Uh, in this case, we're going to use point clouds and SketchUp models. And the second thing we're going to do is use point clouds at design stage to assess site conditions. And lastly, we're going to use point clouds to generate some surfaces that we can later edit in, a, in other applications. So this is a point cloud. It's been captured and processed in Recap and imported directly into Navisworks. Navisworks supports, um, among other things, point clouds, Recap files. So um, you can kind of see, you can appreciate the level of detail. That's in the file itself and just take a quick look you can see how we can use the file in its raw form just for doing quick visualizations to try and give clients an appreciation of um, the overall site conditions so this is the the site we're interested in just going to take a look this is the proposal that's been modeled in SketchUp, an extension to the side, an extension to the rear. So if we take the file in, and again, just to take a quick look around the model, you can kind of see not much needs to be done, no post pressing required, post processing required to um, to get a, an understanding of what impact the design will have. You can see in this case the extension is coming out the back and we've got a bit of ground that we need to assess as to how much uh, excavation is going to be required. So what we'll do, we'll do a quick section through that area using the Navisworks tools and a basic measurement, making sure we're going perpendicular to surfaces. If we snap that on, um, we can check at particular points what the level differences are going to be. It's just, it's just a rough and ready uh, way of checking. We can see there it's roughly half a meter or so. So if we wanted to, we could take the point cloud and generate a surface from that and bring it back into our design application. So just we'll take another area of the site, which is a bit more complex just at the back here. So what we've done is we've used a plugin called Point Layout and we've staked out some survey points, literally as if we were staking it out on site. And once we've established the points, um, we can then export them out uh, to a text file. So <clears throat> we just need to specify <clears throat> what format the text file is coming out in uh, specify the coordinates that we want to use that's important for when we want to bring it back in so we'll just name the file and save it to our desktop um, one small point is once we've saved the file out we need to make a small tweak to it because it includes headers at the top so just to Keep the symbol, take the header out, and save the file again. So if you move across now into Civil 3D, very powerful tool for building surfaces. Um, you can use any number of ways of defining your surface. In this case, I'm just going to set the style to triangles so you can visualize this better. Um, we set up a definition. In this case, we're going to bring in a point file. So we're just going to add the file that we extracted out of Navisworks. We're going to specify what the file format is, what the order of the um, coordinates is, and import that in. And that's our surface. So we'll save that out. I'm just going to overwrite a previous file. And because we established the coordinates as we were exporting the points out, bringing that file back in, 
should come in at exactly the right position. Now, if we just switch off our points for a second, you'll see the surface that we've created. The issue we have is that some of the edges have been triangulated where we don't require triangles to be formed. So we can address that reasonably quickly in Civil 3D. So we'll bring our file in and using just some of the editing tools, we can tidy up some of the edges. There are more refined ways of doing this, but this is just a quick rough and ready uh, process just to demonstrate that we can create files, create uh, services from information extracted from other sources. So we'll save that file and we don't need to detach and reattach, we just need to refresh it in Navisworks and you should be able to see the changes pretty quickly. There we go. Um, so you can see the edges are now a better fit. If we switch our points back on again, just highlight the surface, you'll see it's a better fit. Obviously the more points we add in before we extract out, the better fit we'll have. Just want to say thanks for watching. Um, click subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with future videos and you can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.